Right, Mheshimi, I want to give you one chance to read the OTQ. I know, first time member of parliament, maybe next time you can be a news anchor. So this is the camera that you're going to use, and you can start when you're ready. So I start? You can start. You can start from where it's white. Oh, where it's white. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, despite the government policy on accessibility that captures the need to have fully accessible ICTs for persons with disabilities, there is need for proactive government interventions to promote and champion the implementation, uh, the implementation of the existing laws and policies dealing with digital accessibility. Bramwell Buire was in Siaya for the National Summit to, 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 communi uh, to Community Network and now reports. Article 54 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 guarantees all people living with disability the right to reasonable access to information. Kenya has also signed international and regional human rights instruments that ensure the rights of PWDs to access ICT. Um, Kenya National ICT Policy 2019 also mandates the government to provide an ICT-friendly environment that is fully accessible to PWDs. <laughs> However, there is a high risk that unless the gap between policies and implementation is narrowed, PWDs in Kenya risk being further alienated from meaningful access to ICT. We are trying to build on the capacity of persons with disabilities and organizations like community networks to ensure that they are inclusive of persons with disabilities. Even on the digital program, on training and literacy, they are able to absorb in persons with disabilities and ensure that they are able to use the internet and uh, live independent life. They are here to see how we can be able to um, connect institutions for differently abled people to the internet. Once we connect, that will be the first step. The next idea will be to look at how do we provide devices that are suitable that will enable them to be able to contribute to the society. The National Summit also pointing out the high cost of acquiring equipment, setting up the network infrastructure and knowledge and skill transfer as the primary barriers in establishing and maintaining community networks in Kenya. Just like the previous government focused on roads, we are glad that the current government is focusing on internet infrastructure, 100,000 kilometers of fiber optic cable, which we are well able to support in its laying, and uh, over 25,000 hotspots. The value chain is still very much uh, available for so many players, and for us to achieve that optimum uh, utilization of the resource that is internet, we need all players on board. Despite the government plan to install 25,000 Wi-Fi hotspots across the country, the main hurdle remains how the hotspots will be used to boost the country's digital economy. Bramwell Bire, KT News, CIA. Thank you, Bramwell, for that. So how was your experience as a news anchor? Uh, it was good. Huh? You know, I started by a bit of, uh, you know, reading a news it's different from just reading. Yeah. So, 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 <laughs> towards the end, you know, I felt like, you know, the momentum is now picking up. Oh, so we need to do more. Yeah, if I do one, two things, I think I can hustle. So in the I near future, we'll definitely do that. But just to 